Hello, sweet souls. Welcome back. <laughs> so good to have you again. This morning, I am back in the forest, one of my favorite places here, and the rising sun is behind me. It's not quite rising, it's already a little higher. <laughs> it's 8 a.m. now, and it's a beautiful morning. <laughs> and I love that I can take you out here with me. We are wrapping up the months of nature which was June, and we're moving into the month of love. So for July, the theme is going to be love. And today, we'll just be on the verge of both of those. Because for me, they go together really well. So I got three points for you. Because <laughs> I always have three points, most of the time. And my first one is the love that we sometimes seek outside of ourselves truly resides within us. And so coming back to love within ourselves, coming back to appreciation for ourselves and asking ourselves, what would somebody do who truly loves themselves right now whenever we're not in a great space as one of the best ways to come home to ourselves So when I catch myself, that I talk to myself unkindly in my head, that I beat myself up, that I uh, slave myself through my to-do list, and we've talked about to-do lists in the past, they're not maybe the best way to go anyways. Maybe it's celebration lists, maybe it's I get to do something lists, but let's come back to the point. So what would a person that truly loves themselves do right now? For me, the answer is often to take a little break. As I'm like chugging along, trying, well, not trying, getting things done. Also working on that vocabulary. <laughs> so as I, as I do the things that I set out to do, when I do hit a block at some point, to just allow myself to take a moment and rest, it's important to refuel, to recharge. And when I say refuel, I've caught myself plenty of times in the past that I like shove in a quick snack and call that refueling. But what I often need is just refueling energy in terms of recharging and restoring and resting for a moment and allow that energy to replenish by itself by me resting. And one of the favorite ways of how I do that is to go out in nature like right here. And I am blessed that this is close to where I live. So it's just a few minutes. And this is where I can ground. So the second piece of how do I love myself is let me get my bare feet on the earth. Ta-da! toes wiggling because they're happy <laughs> so how can I connect with nature can I sit in nature for a minute can I allow myself to just be here and fully soak up this moment to perceive myself as the part of nature that I am instead of something separate from it Can I feel the nature around me fully? Listening to the birds, feeling the sunlight on my face, feeling the gentle breeze on my skin, feeling the moss under my feet and the rock. Can I allow myself to be fully present and to feel how much I am a part of nature by just letting nature's energy ground me and flow through me. That's the second piece. Connecting to nature, being barefoot, touching it with my hands,
Maybe even laying down and putting my face on it. Maybe uh, I really need to feel the moss. Awkward? Eh. I'm okay with it. <laughs> Feeling nature's energy inside of me. The third piece is to be physically very embodied and comforting myself. Sometimes we tend to seek that comfort outside of ourselves. And yes, a hug, a genuine felt hug is one of the most beautiful things in the world. Sometimes that's not available to us. So in that case, can I just give myself some gentle touch? Can I give myself the comfort that I'm longing for? And maybe the first time you feel this, it feels a tad awkward. Who knows, just because you're not used to it. But maybe you can feel the comfort in it. The oxytocin that we produce because of physical touch also gets produced when we touch ourselves. And yes, I love hugging other people. I love physical touch. It's actually one of my most prominent love languages. And I've learned that even touching myself, holding myself, comforting myself, feels good. So sometimes when I need a hug, I'll just give myself one. Like this. <laughs> We can just give ourselves a good hug. We can hold ourselves. We can be there for ourselves. We can do that with words and we can do that with touch. And you deserve to be really kind and gentle with yourself and really loving with yourself. If you're willing to do this for a loved one, why would you not offer that gift to yourself? <sighs> no, dear mosquito, you've sucked enough blood. <laughs> they do love me a lot. So with that, let me recap the three points. The first one is when we get tense or stressed to ask ourselves what would a person that loves themselves fully do right now and often that answer may be taking a tiny break or doing something else switch it up for a little bit second piece is connecting to nature and for me, that's a very physical practice. Like, yes, walking into nature and taking my shoes and socks off, touching it with my hands, maybe even laying down, touching it with my whole body, bringing my cheek on the ground, laying down on some moss. And the third piece, the third piece is comforting myself when I long for some physical comfort, maybe I can also give that to myself. And there goes the microphone. <laughs> we tend to be fairly touch deprived as a society. We do need a lot of touch. When we're in a romantic partnership or we have kids, maybe we get more touch and that is beautiful. And even then we may still crave more. And when we don't have these close relationships currently in our lives, then we may get less. And we need it, we all need it. So find ways to comfort yourself. 
to show yourself your own love. I hope this serves you. I send you a lot of love. I wish you well. And I'll see you soon. If this serves you, show me some love. <laughs> Return the energy in one way or another. Check out some of my other videos. Check out my content on some other platforms. Join me on Inside Timer for some live meditations. I would love to see you there. And find more free content on twinkleflip.com. I will link more in the notes. And if you were curious about the five love languages that I mentioned, where one is physical touch, then check out my video on the five love languages. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Be in touch. Let me know if this served you, what else you would like, and know that I love you.